Hello and welcome to the world of astronomy. Today I am talking about a person who gave such quotations. If you want to be a sun, first learn how to burn. And the person who defines dream as dream is not what you see while sleeping, but the dream which does not let you sleep. Yes, I am talking about Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, who used to sell newspapers in his childhood and became a greatest scientist of a country and then the president of India. Abul Bakir Janul Abadin Abdul Kalam. He was born on 15th of October 1931 in Rameshwaram in Madras Presidency during British rule. His father used to take the pilgrims from Rameshwaram to Dhanushkodi and then from Dhanushkodi to Rameshwaram. But due to the formation of Pamban Bridge, his family lost that small work. To complete the needs of money, he used to sell newspapers and help his brothers. During his childhood or during his school schooling time, he was not a great student. But his teachers would call him a hard-working student because he used to study maths and science continuously. After completing his high schooling from Swartz High School, he went to Tiruchirappalli and completed Saint Anthony of Bachelor's in Physics in 1954 from Saint Joseph College, and then went to 19 Madras Aerospace at Engineering College in 1955 from Madras Institute of Technology. There, one of his professors asked him to complete the project within three days on which he was working because of his slowness. The professor asked him if he did not complete the project within three days, his scholarship would be taken away. He also wanted to join Air Force, but due to a narrow luck, he could not. He was on the ninth rank while eight of the candidates were selected for Air Force pilot. He did not become the Air Force pilot, perhaps he was destined to be a scientist and a great president of the country. In 1916, he joined DRDO in the form of Air Aerospace Development Establishment Program. And in 1969, he came in contact with Vikram Sarabhai and he was transferred to ISRO, in which he was the director of first satellite launch vehicle SLV-3, which, dis which deployed Rohini in near-earth orbit in July 1980. In 1963 he went to NASA and there came a turning point in his life when on 10th July 2002 NDA National Democratic Alliance decided to nominate him as the president and he became the president on 11th President of India by winning winning by nine lakh votes. He received Bharat Ratna the highest civilian award, Padma Bhushan and Padma Bhushan. After his tenureship of president, he became the visiting professor in Shillong, Indore and Ahmedabad Institute of Management. So the biography of a person like Kalam teaches us live to do and the definition of success. If you are a successful person, it doesn't mean how much you have gained, how much you have earned. The success is how much did you do 
and how did you do? On 27th of July 2015, while giving a lecture in Geelong IIM, due to a cardiac arrest, he collapsed while delivering a lecture and died after that. His last words were to the person who was with him, Hey funny guy, are you doing well? Thank you very much for watching, please share and subscribe.